Hi friends, we'll start with our uh, label now. This is the blank window code. We have pasted it. Uh, label we want to give some text message directly, so we'll use that. So in our blank window, let's declare the variable tk dot label. So in that uh, my window my w is the parent window where we are going to use it. We have declared it above. So in the second line. Now let's say the text whatever you want to say. We'll say welcome. Now in that font font equal to we'll declare the declare a tuple here. We'll say my font is equal to to inside tuple times now let's say size is 18 then style is bold find this we will assign it here my font now width let's say width is 15 so will this this label will assign to our grid l1 dot grid let's say row is equal to 1 and column is equal to 1 so that's all now the our uh, uh, label should display. Let us see. Yeah, it is welcome. Now, the color I have not assigned. Okay, To this, we can assign the color. So, we will change the color now. Say, FG or foreground is, let us say, red. Now, let us run this. Yeah, we can see this is our window. To this, we will add more features. To this, let us add a background. Now, let us say, BG will say yellow. This is a yellow background we want to add to our label. You can see we have added it. Fine. So now we will slightly change it and go out for the, our other features. Let us copy this code, paste it here. Uh, the same code we are using, we will modify it, we will remove the background and also we will uh, remove the foreground and width also. We will add a now relief. What relief is? It's the relief. Uh, we'll add the borders to it. Now we'll give a border width of two. Border width is equal to let's say two. Relief is we'll say raise. What will this raise will do? There are six options. The relief uh, op option will take. Sorry, raised is a one of the value it will take. <coughs> In the text also will say that it is relief. Uh, sorry, it is raised. So, we will di differentiate between different different uh, values of it. Now, let us just run this code and see how it looks. You can see it is raised. It was the borders. So, we will re slightly reduce the font size also. Let us keep it 12. Fine. So, now what we will do? We will create one more uh, button. Let me just increase this. Uh, size of this also to let us say 302, let us go to 350 and size also let us say 140. This is x uh, uh, width and height of it. I have changed this. Now, let us copy this one. We will push, we will try to get uh, one more button with another value of the relief. So, we can compare it easily. So, let us say it we have gone for L2, TK label same instead of raised we will say sunken s u n okay now here we'll come to this is the value and the text is for our reference now here again i am telling it's l2 this is row 1 column 2 let's go so find it should be by the side of it let us see yeah you can see the difference between these two values Okay, let us add some width to both so we can see this. Width is for say 15. Here also we will add width say 15. You can see the difference now. Yeah, fine. Now we will go to the next. We will copy this code. This time we will go to the next uh, row. So we will change the row code. So, after sunken, let us say reads TGE. Here also we will change the value. So, this is L3 we will use, this also L3 and row is second row. 
first column. Let's run this. Yeah, you can see it here. The difference in border. Same thing we can continue with let us say L 4 we will give over another value, we will give it solid. Now, here it is solid, here also we will change it to solid and here it is column 2. So, sorry this should be L 4. Let us put one more value also. L 5, L 5. Now, L 5 will go at row 3 and column 1, L 5 value will give it as group. And here also, we will say that the text is for our reference only. Now, column this is row 3, column 1. L 5. Now, let us copy this and use it again for sixth one. We will say that this is L 6, here also L 6. Now, row 3, column 2, the text will change to flat. So, these are the six different values for uh, the relief option we have taken. Now, let us run this and see you can see all the different different rays, sunken, reeds, solid, groove and flat. So, all the values of uh, relief we have used the uh, 6 values and we have seen the border. Now, the, you see an, another common requirement is whatever text we are writing, we want to change that or manage the text. So, with a different uh, by click of a button or anything or a user input. For that, instead of using a fixed text, whatever we have used here, you can see the text is a fixed text. So, instead of that, we will try to use a string variable and use it. That is in our next video.